taken away from his demons and still nurturing the hatred in his heart and that's the story i wanted to tell and if, um, so there came a day when the film was ready and uh, the first person i wanted to show was to uh, milka singh of course and uh, as it goes here uh, uh, jeev milka singh was very very uh, kind in putting everything together you know he was the word got out and he was getting offers to buy the right of his story and you know for uh, crores of rupee and jeev said no pa it's this belongs to rakesh and he feels the story very much and we'll give it to him for one rupee and uh, and so yeah absolutely that's how the universe aspires when you want something badly and when you're chasing something with a true heart and uh, it it's not the first time it often happens with me is it's just that some amazing people just make things happen for me and and i and and i get um, I, you know i i i get all the limelight for it but it's not me it's is is it's some uh, people around me and whom i met lucky that they make it happen for me that's one so milkha singh saw the film he was sitting in the center faran was on his right i was on his left and we had booked the whole theater in delhi in director's cut pvr and we uh, film got over and we were quiet for a while and milkha singh milkha sir he broke down and he had tears in his eyes and for a man who's like 84 years old and to have tears to see in everything and still get tears how he would have felt only he can say i cannot i can't even try to guess what how it feels to see yourself on screen your your life being played out then he held my hand and he said uh, he calls me beta and he says beta mere dil mein jitni nafrat thi na pakistan ke liye aaj sari pigal gayi and that uh, i i uh thanks for him uh, to give me the opportunity uh, to make a film on him uh, incredibly played by faran incredibly played by divya datta you know uh, when i gave divya uh, uh, we had done a movie called delhi six before this and uh, an incredible connection had happened which was almost spiritual and uh, i said uh, divya making a film on milkha singh and you have to play the lead lady uh, she said yeah okay so what's the story and i said she said ye to uski bhain hai how can sister be a lead lady i said that is it what the story i want to tell is conventional to have a romantic angle as the lead why can't a sister be a lead so i kept pure to that thought there was a lot of pressure from the market to say nahi yaar रोमांस को बढ़ाओ थोड़ा ये करो वो करो देन आई टू सोना मैम आई सेट आई कॉल अ सोना सो आई सेट सोना लाइक आई नीड सम सोना हियर फॉर माई फिल्म एंड अपेरेंटली यू हैव अ फाइव मिनट रोल एंड एंड यू डिच मिलखा सिंह बेसिकली सेट साउंड इंटरेस्टिंग इट डॉन कॉस्ट यू अलॉट i said well you know uh sono was a big star by then i said well fine so you name your price she said 11 rupees oh, and, wonderful so the casting process was and then the best part is me and faran we forgot to discuss the commercials on oh so one day we were like we have to discuss the commercials and we are working on this film together and already prep is on so let's get that out of the way so uh, he said whatever just bata dena kya hai <laughs> <laughs> wonderful yeah yeah what absolutely about, yeah. what about jab tej he was also fabulously cast the young boy amazing uh, 
Japte was God sent. And when I say God sent, actually God sent. We were uh, casting and the number had reached, if I remember correctly, and there, obviously there will be a plus minus, uh, 3,928 rejections. I, I just wasn't getting my young milk up. And uh, I, I just, just couldn't find it. So we were on a location recce, and I still didn't find it in Punjab. And uh, the uh, and and we were catered food uh, by the caterer out there. And uh, one day he came with the different boxes, and his son was helping him to serve food to us, and that was Japtes. Wow! Amazing. So I said. I said I just spoke to him for five minutes and I knew I had found my milk. And, uh, uh, and rest is history. Yeah. And he's, he was very sensitive. I, I realized he was very sensitive and he understood the pain and he came from the land. And, and uh, he, he, he worked very hard. You see, while in his portion, he's always running barefoot on hot sand. We could not stand on that sand uh, uh, for even 30 seconds. And he was running on it uh, in the villages, in the fields, crossing a river all the time uh, in Tuklagabad fort. And it was all pebbles and stones. And um, we did, uh, uh, you know, the and all this was very inspiring. When a 12 year old kid inspires you, the entire crew gets inspired. And here, so nobody was complaining. Nobody was complaining uh, as such. Uh, we were at a, a, a opening up for play in, in, in Delhi, I think. Uh, it was the inauguration of Kingdom of Dreams. And uh, uh, my friend had just started the theatre there, Kingdom, Kingdom of Dreams, and they were doing this play. And he called me over, uh, Viraf Sarkari of this craft and Andre and uh, they had called over and uh, Shankar was also there that evening. So the play got over, we went back to the hotel and I was not sleepy and Shankar was not sleepy. So we went to the coffee shop and we got talking and I told him, Shankar, I have a story and one, one has been wanting to work with you for the longest time. Uh, uh, just hear my story. And I started narrating it to him. And he already with Shankar se problem hai Shank Shankar, like Gujar Bhai says, na, wo ek ghada hai, jo laba lab bhara hai. Aap usko only bhi lagaoge, to ek tune chha lag jati hai baat. Thoda sa aise karo, to ek, ek or tune. So while I'm telling him the story, he's already composing the first song for me, there in the coffee shop. And he said, yes, soon to fail. He said, I'm not going to do it. He said, I'm not going to do it. So, this is what I'm going to do. Again, I, like I truly believe the universe conspires. And so, uh, these are the things which are going on. And then, uh, uh, Bharti did an incredible job of being the devil's advocate on the script. Uh, she was the editor. She was also the editor of Rande Basanti and the creative director on Bhag Milka, Bhag and Rande Basanti. So uh, uh, she always makes sense of what I shoot. Uh, otherwise, it's like uh, the material is, I'm sure, uh, uh, is, is uh, uh, she, she puts it together. And it was a very complicated film to put together as such. And uh, she did win a lot of awards. In fact, she put out all the popular awards. Uh, uh, that were going film fair, Rifa, stars, screen, everything. Uh, uh, her work was recognized. Even Rangde, her work was recognized big time. She got a national award for it. And uh, it's, 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 it's wonderful to have such a amazing team uh, who are looking after your back. It's, it's crazy. Yes, everything came together perfectly to make a fabulous film. Okay, so I'd like to move on now. And so social issues have always informed your work. 
no matter which movie it is so we would love to know the reason behind this what drives you to make these pick these topics and these subjects and and all social animals so, yes, we, uh, we are. For, for, uh, for me, movies are not. Uh, uh, it's not my profession. It's that's what I do, and that's what I uh, eat, drink, live, breathe, and uh, and uh, so. Uh, what moves me in real life? I try to bring that on screen more often than not. Not all the times, but yeah. So. Uh, Rangde Basanti uh, uh, is, I'm from an Air Force school, Balbharti Air Force, uh, Lodi Road, New Delhi. And in, in, as you enter the school gates on the foyer, there's a MiG-21 plane. Uh, you know, a showpiece. It's a showpiece. But we used to play You know, we were punished under the plane. And we would... All my teachers were uh, wives of uh, air, airborne warriors, you know, uh, wives of flight lieutenants and wing commanders, squadron leaders. So, and we would go to uh, air shows. I wanted to be a fighter pilot oh. uh, myself, but I couldn't make it uh, because no science, no maths. Um, uh, they were not my strong points. But your destiny uh, was elsewhere, and we're glad. Yeah. Then, when I saw this documentary called Hawkins and Tricolor and Mix of Falling because of a 2000 crore corruption scandal, mm -hmm. uh, which the CAG uh, had unearthed. And we were putting superior parts in trigger mechanism of the plane. And Russia had, had warned us against this. He, uh, just to save money and to make money under the table, uh, that was being done. So my, and uh, young pilots were dying in peacetime, in you know, just taking the plane up in the sky for just uh, uh, sorties, and the planes were crashing, yes. and mothers were losing their sons, and it, 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 and the then defense minister took a joyride on the plane wearing a G suit, and he declared the plane safe. He said, "Unsafe hota to main thodi jata tha iske upar." as such. So, uh, it, it made me very angry. So, I had to make that film. So, I borrowed a lot from my college days. Of the, the five friends you see in Rangde Basanti are actually my five friends. Uh, even till we, we, we meet every year and they come over and we spend a week together uh, during New Year's. And now everyone has families and um, kids and all that. So, uh, there were uh, escapist within us like the character of Amir Khan who said he uh, so I had two friends who never left Delhi University in fact they did MA and MPhil because they were scared to step out in the world in, in the university there were casinos uh, one of them was uh, Delhi unit captain and everybody loved him and everybody knew him and he was scared to step out because he'll be a nobody, a faceless among millions. So I gave that part, and uh, I could identify with the uh, flight lieutenant Ajay Rathod uh, uh, because I'm from my Air school. So uh, I wrote my heart out for him, uh, and so on and so forth. So everything, you know, when it's crazy when uh, you pick up from real life and put it into real. Uh, so real life is inspired from real life and then real life uh, especially starts imitating real life so it's a circle and that's what happened with Rangde Basanti Delhi 6 uh, yeah I'm from old Delhi like I told you it's a crazy place Up, uh, there's a main avenue called Chandni Talk for those who don't know right? and as you take a left into Chandni Chow. On your left is a, uh, a bird hospital. It used to be fascinating as a kid, you know, to see a bird hospital. And right next to it is Gauri Shankar Mandir, which is one of the oldest Shiva temple uh, in India. It's, it's very old. 
diagonally opposite that is a church, a Methodist church. Diagonally opposite uh, the church, a little further, is uh, Gurudwara Shishkanj, which is a, a very revered site. Bang opposite Gurudwara Shishkanj is Haldira. So you get all the Golgappas and Chaat Pakot. <laughs> and just before that is McDonald's. <laughs> and when you go down the street and you reach the end of the street, there's this beautiful Fatehpuri Masjid there. And I remember it from my childhood days because there used to be performers, kawals, poetry sessions out there. You know, uh, uh, and and it, it, it's, it's what a lovely place to go to, to see, uh, you know, uh, uh, a place of faith also encouraging culture. And then you turn around, you see the Indian tricolor fluttering on red fort. And then there are people and people and people and more people and more people. It's like the story of India and South Asia with so much population. If they, like there's a tap somewhere and people are tapping from it. Tap people. <laughs> People, what people. an analogy. <laughs> forgotten to put the tap off, or we don't know where that tap is. I think the uh, the secret to our country's population lies in Chandni Chowk, in the tap from where people are still performing. Otherwise, I, nobody can make so much population in so many ways. <laughs> so, Old Delhi was, uh, you know, I played, used to play cricket uh, behind Jama Masjid. Uh, there, there were these fountains and we used to play there, uh, uh, eat at Kareem's all the time as such. And uh, so there was this whole cultural thing. But whenever there used to be uh, some politically motivated uh, ethnic tension, uh, we used to have this Spartacus in a gully. Every gully had a fatak piece, a door, a huge door, 20 feet, wooden thick. And they would shut down for some reason. And I used to wonder what's going on. You know, why is everything is fine? Uh, we have friends uh, as such. So Delhi 6 was a memory of memoirs of my childhood. In fact, uh, uh, my mother, she always wanted to go back to Old Delhi. She was tired of living in New Delhi and she was ailing and it was, she knew uh, her years have come. And uh, she used to tell me, uh, So I gave her name and that part to Vahida Ji, Vahida Rahman. And it was my second film with her. And Anupurna Mehra, she plays that role. And uh, Rest all uh, Sonam's uncle, Jai Gopal Khanna, Madan Gopal Khanna, Ama, Ama, Mamas, who would live beautifully but had a wall in between the house. <laughs> you know how properties get divided between brothers. But the ladies would uh, pass on food here and there. So everything goes on. It's like chaos, existing in chaos. So I took all those memories and put it in a film. And then uh, Rehman gave the music of his lifetime to that film. And, uh, I, the attempt was that the devil is inside us. So once there was this scare of Kalabandar in Old Delhi, you know, the monkey used to come and you know, there were various rumors and all that, that he's a Russian agent and all that. So, uh, I created a Kalabandar to say, and there's a fakir in this film. And he keeps mm -hmm. showing the mirror to everybody, saying, Jhaakle, Jhaakle. And nobody understood. Till in the climax, uh, uh, Abhishek Bachchan is going to the temple as normal. He's half Muslim, half Hindu. So he goes to the Darga also. And he goes to the temple also. But that day, they did not let him enter. And they said, you know, you got Muslim blood in you. You can't enter the temple. And that fakir is there. And the fakir is there. So Abhishek takes the mirror and shows it to Om Puri and he says, you know, ye fakir kya bolta hai? Ki Bhagawan, Allah, sab aapke andar hai. Now it was very sensitive to say all this. Yes. Uh, 
uh, yeah. Uh, but for me, uh, movies and storytelling is not about being politically correct. It is about being emotionally correct. And uh, way to put it. Yeah, yeah. Ki zare zare mein, uh, and it was a lovely film as well. So, Ms. Mehra, we are having some technical difficulties, I believe, with the videos. So, I think uh, we shall just move on with the audience questions. Uh, till then, maybe you can quickly tell us why you were keen to choose a career in filmmaking. I didn't choose uh, filmmaking. Uh, filmmaking choose me. I, I had absolutely no clue I'll one day I'll uh, be making movies and I have absolutely no clue tomorrow what I'll be doing, where life will take me. So this was, I had never assisted anybody. Uh, I never worked in a film. I'm not from a film family. It just happened to me. Uh, uh, I, I, I believe in flowing with the water. I never resist that. I don't plan too much for myself. I don't take myself too seriously at all. And uh, this whole thing about career, doing this, securing a lot of marks, getting 99%, getting ready for your life, the job, planning it, takes away the fun out of the life. You know, yeah. it's, it takes away, it becomes too predictable that at 25, I'll be here, at 30, I'll be there, at 31, I'll have my first car. This will be my job. I'll be in this multinational and all that. For me, someone like me, uh, I cannot comment for everybody. But for me, it didn't add up as such. So I started as a salesman uh, selling vacuum cleaners in Delhi. You know, those Eureka Forbes. Then I became a tailor for a good 18 months. Like we were fabricating for export houses. And there I met a lot of karigas, which came from the villages. So I'm writing a story around them, about the Indian oh, villagers um, from those days uh, um, as such. And it's a story set in the future. Kamlesh Pandey is writing it. And, uh, uh, then uh, I luck by chance got into advertising as client servicing. And there they sent me to record a jingle to Bombay. So. Uh, something happened. The jingle worked out. It was for a client in Chandigarh, uh, Masa Motor, Swaraj Master. Uh, the Japanese uh, liked it very much and they sent me to Japan to uh, uh, to work in the Master factory for one month, one month in dealership, one month in a petrol pump and one month in the advertising agency to get a 360, basically to Japanify me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and so I came back and then I joined another agency uh, which had a client for Hero Honda and uh, Fighting Fire uh, ended up making an ad film for Hero Honda, mm -hmm. producing it, uh, not directing it uh, and uh, in-house because the client was going to sack us. So I went to the boss and I said, give me 25,000 bucks. And we have this great idea called Let's Shut It, Forget It, Let's Make It Into an Ad Film. So we made the film out there, all with Delhi local crew. Film worked out, it ran for two years. Client was very happy. Wonderful. But I tasted blood. I said, now I'm <laughs> leaving for my boss and I'm going to Bombay to make ad films. He said, are you crazy? Your salary has just been doubled. You're performing so well. And so, but uh, I came to Mumbai and Bombay then, uh, struggled, 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 met Bharti. Uh, we fell in love and uh, we got married. I was still struggling. Uh, I didn't have a job. Uh, at films of far and few, one in six months, one in eight months, Chota Muta. But Bharti had a salary, uh, which so uh, the first, I think, 10 years, seven, eight years of marriage, uh, she sustained the marriage and uh, basically she paid the rent and the bills. Uh, uh, and uh, and then uh, more and more films started happening and I made a name for myself, got to make 
films uh, for uh, every brand possible, Coke, Pepsi, Yamaha, Honda, Toyota for Japan. My love for Japan continued. Uh, in fact, Bhagwan Ka Bhag was released in Japan and it was a huge hit. And I went to show it there and the people really loved it. And, uh, and this was two years after the original release. It was dubbed in Japanese and all that. It was amazing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And um, and then uh, I got to make this commercials with Mr. Bachchan. Uh, and Amit Ji ke saath, uh, he became a mentor. Or ghar pe aana jana shuru gaya. Yeah. Uh, he would call me for to share meals. And I remember one day he, Jaya Ji, they just surprised me. There was Abhishek on the door, and he says, "I've got guests for you." I said, "How come you come?" Uh, and the guest turned out to be Amitabh Bachchan and Jaya Bachchan, and uh, they said, "We are like." Uh, uh, we have invited ourselves over for dinner and it was only Abhishek who was meant to come and they, they oh, just gosh. came and Abhishek left and and uh, so I gave him a 25 page script for Ux. I was wanting by this time I was wanting to make a feature film. Uh, I made two music videos with Amit after the ad films mm -hmm. and he became fond of me he liked my work we made Eerbeer Fatte and Kabi Kabi. Uh, I remember that. Um, yeah. And um, one day I was hanging out with uh, Abhishek and Amiji came into the room and he says, Hey guys, I'm going to Delhi. So I said, Amiji, he has some in flight entertainment. And I gave him 25 pages of Fox. It was only 25 pages by then. Mm. Uh, I came home. Uh, he read it on the flight uh, for lack of any other reading material, I'm sure. And there were no TVs on the flight those days. And, uh, and uh, the mobiles had just come on. So at 11 o'clock, uh, the phone came to me in the night, 10, 30, 11. <clears throat> and he was speaking in a very hushed voice. He said, Rakesh, what were you drinking when you wrote this? Oh, gosh. Uh, this sir, Ramon Coke. He <laughs> said, let's go. And uh, yes. And we made up, and uh, it just happened like that. So it's it's all. Uh, I, I I believe in destiny. So if it has to happen, it will happen. You just need to keep walking the path and if following a bigger dream. And, if yes. they, you know, and until you dream, it will not become true. So you need to dream first. I think it's very important. I believe your story is going to be one of your films in the future. I hope it is because that's a fabulous story. I've just been corrected, Mr. Mehra. I believe we can play the video. So we are now going to do that. Gunita, sure. if you can take the book. Lovely. Gunita, can you hear us?
Yeah, that was Delhi Six, actually. Originally, the Liche. Um, yeah. uh, sorry, Mr. Mehra, there was some technical issue. Uh, I'm just joining in a second. Uh, is there another video, Bonita, to be played? I always believed there were two kinds of men in this world. Men who go to their deaths screaming. And men who go to their deaths in silence. And then I met the third kind. This is my grandfather's diary. He was an eyewitness. How can this be a will? Tell me! How can this be the will of a god? Mul kabhi, zameen abhi, par hume bhaga rahe hain videshi. Boys no older than 23 fighting the empire okay Yeah tum log meri film mein acting karoge you guys are perfect <laughs> कोई भी देश परफेक्ट नहीं होता उसे बेहतर बनाना पड़ता है टके वो पास की गल कर रही है और तू फ्यूचर से पीछे पड़ा है टिक पैर पास में टिक पैर फ्यूचर में तभी तो हम आज पे मूत रहे स्कॉट को हम नहीं छोड़ सकते मार डालो उसे हाथ पर हाथ धरे बैठे रहें। ये क्या हो रहा है? कुछ नहीं बदलेगा। मार डालो सर। कौन करेगा खत्म? हाँ कौन? अरे खत्म कौन करेगा? मैं। जिंदगी जीने के दो ही तरीके होते हैं एक जो हो रहा होने दो बर्दाश्त करते जाओ या फिर जिम्मेदारी उठाओ उसे बदलने की Hello, and terribly sorry about that. Now, some there was some technical difficulty. I hope you can see me and hear me properly without any issues. Okay, and please accept my apologies. My battery ran out, which unfortunately is a problem with a live <laughs> show. So sorry about that. But anyway, we are back now, and I believe we are now ready for audience questions, Gunita. If you'd like to shoot some to us. That was a really fascinating story, and of course, it was lovely to see all the movies again, the trailers for the movies. That is okay. So, Radhika Matta, what was the name of Jito and Fatima's story? Uh, Radhika, I think that's a uh, question for Sona, and she narrated the Jito yes, and that, Fatima. Yes, that's actually story. right. Yes, that's right. So we'll move on to that. Yes, we'll move on to next one. It was a real story. It came from our research. Very moving, and uh, as I was listening to her, uh, I was all teary. 
it's amazing to see a brother writing in Gurmukhi and getting letters back in Urdu and how they met. I'm sure Sonam will tell you more about it because she's the one who experienced it first time. Yes, Radhika, I'll encourage you to get in touch with Sonam and she will definitely share more with you. Yeah. Uh, so, Sarab asks, uh, where did you shoot the film with Milka Singh? What was your budget and how long did it take to shoot? Um, we shot it for 108 days and it was shot in, in Punjab, in Firozpur, which is Eastern Punjab, and uh, which shares the boundary with Pakistan. In fact, uh, the village we shot in Gard Patana was, uh, had the barbed wires and uh, we, we shot at the real border. And you know, in border, you don't have permission to shoot uh, 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 where the gates are. One is Wakha, one is in Firozpur. And uh, so we got permission to shoot this side at the BSL. And then I went and across the gate, I asked the, the, the Pakistani colonel and I said, Sir, we film bana rahe hai, sir, karke. So he said, oh, uh, so I got a couple of shots taking, putting the camera in Pakistan. That was ultimate. And then he said, Ki, I, tak gayo, to khana bhi ke oh, how nice. so, so we shot in Firozpur, we shot in Patiala, we shot in Delhi. Uh, a lot of stadiums are rebuilt for uh, this thing. And we shot some sets in Mumbai finally. Uh, not many, just... Uh, the Australian portions, you know, the indoor portions, mostly Delhi and Punjab, the India Punjab. Great to know. And I think it shows because the film was very, very authentic. And considering I live in Delhi, I can I can attest to that. So she also yeah, said that it's one of the... I don't sex normally. I shoot on locations. So, and it shows. In fact, Rangde Basanti, uh, the Delhi University is the Habitat Center, which I believe is also part of your childhood memories, perhaps. So, yeah. Bhat, of course, right next to this Habitat right Center. Right. We want. I wanted to throw in Sri Ram College and Stephens. I'm, I'm from Sri Ram College of Commerce. But I'm from example, <laughs> so oh wow, yeah. yeah. Both the colleges said if you can come back and shoot because the exams are going on. So we couldn't wait. So uh, and there was no point being a nuisance, and uh, you know while the, everyone is studying, and you end up with a film crew and disturb everyone. So we shot in India Habitat Center for Delhi University. Yeah, it was lovely. So Jahir Ghazi asks, sir, what do you think? What steps could have prevented this horrific separation of India, as most of the inhabitants like living with each other, are in love with each other? That's a uh, that's a, the, a question in the air. I must say, uh, what has happened has happened, and we must now all learn to move on, and 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 uh, if not become one in kind, uh, become one in spirit, as such. Uh, we, there's so much to learn from Europe, and they fought the First World War, the Second World War. And, you know, there's so much had happened, complete destruction had happened, but now they share a common currency and yes. the social security, the prosperity of the, uh, the countries is the happiness of the people is, is their foremost concern as such. And they've learned to live in peace. In fact, you can travel within their one visa called the Euro visa for people from around the world. And, um, and uh, so I, I, I can't answer what could have stopped the partition? Uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe the British leaving us hundred years earlier, in 1847, rather than 1947. Uh, that can be the closest I can come to making a sensible statement. But I, it, the, the beauty of life is that uh, we recognize and respect the present. And this is where we, we say, hey, come on, let's move to the next level and move on from here and not go back, uh, go back in history and if uh, and, and keep. Um, so uh, because if we forget uh, 
we, we should remember history, but not repeat it. Huh? Because if we forget history, we'll be condemned to repeat it. Absolutely right. And very well said also. We are, after all, factors of our present. And it takes a lot to get to the present in all its myriad ways. So Arundhati Mondal says, gives goosebumps every time I see the movie. And I agree with her. It does. Which movie, Arundhati? I think she's talking about Bhag Milka, but maybe she's referring to all of your films because they all have that potential. And Radhika says she's still getting chills. Um, the idea was not to give you chills, it was to tell you a story as, as, uh, uh, as engagingly as I could say. But I, I also believe when you say something to anyone and you share what's going on inside your heart, uh, as honestly as possible, it reaches out. Your voice reaches out, and it, what echoes back is love. What I'm, uh, I just received uh, from Radhika, and uh, when she says "chill," I read "chill" as love. A supreme moving feeling. So I believe there's a runner in our midst, and he's saying he is inspired by Fauja Singh and Milka Singh, and was hoping to qualify for Boston, but. Unfortunately, the race has got cancelled due to COVID this year. But hopefully, next year. Um, most certainly, uh, uh, if I may call you Teji, and uh, there, there's, I'm sure you've prepared and uh, for the races. And it's maybe कोई अच्छा होगा ये वक्त भी गुजर जाएगा. Yes, that's true. इससे भी शायद कुछ अच्छी interesting film भी आ जाएगी. I'm sure you're well, thinking of something. And look at it this way. It gives you one more year to train now. You can better your time. Time yes. nilta time. But you have to run indoors or I mean if you're lucky enough to have access to outdoors, that's nice. Okay. So Sujata Ghosh. Country all countries have countryside. You can go to Ladakh right? Nilta Singh and do some high altitude training. Yeah. That was a fabulous scene, by the way, the, in Milka Singh, the way you showed how he sort of overcame his own demons and trained so beautifully. It was really well done. So while I while we wait, I have a slightly technical question, which I'm not sure the audience would. I really appreciate your use of sepia tones to show the, yes, mm -hmm. the yester years. And I've seen that you do that in, have you have done that in both the films, uh, Rang De Basanti and Bhag Milka. And I would love to see that creative aspect of the filmmaking, you know. That's the genius of Vinod Prada, uh, our director of photography. Uh, Vinod has shot some legendary films like 1942, uh, Thane Bito Yaro, Devdas, and Rangde Basanti, and Bhag Milka Bhag and Delhi Six. I had uh, uh, the fortune of working with a master. I have learned a lot from Vinod. Uh, you know, is a, uh, is a co-conspirator, and my name for uh, Vinod Pradhan is Bin Goff. Because oh. if you take Vinod and you take Van Gogh and you put them in a mixer grinder, what you come out is Bin Goff. So it's <laughs> it's uh, completely Vinod and his mastery. And once again, I get the uh, praises, but it is him. And, yeah. I think you're you're good to acknowledge your team, but of course the creative direction is all yours. And after all, you're the medium for it. Let's put it that way. So I, I believe we don't. <laughs> I believe we don't have any more questions as of now. Uh, perhaps we can give it another minute. Would you like to say something to end, sir? Uh, no, I I would now uh, consciously. Uh, bother you and trouble you for to share the partition stories with me yeah and, and uh, I'm, I, I have a I'm a very bad reader so uh, if, if if I could study like you know like like even if like synopsis and things like that and and if we can uh, start a process inspired by this uh, Sunday of ours um, uh, and um, you know, on the uh, eve of partition, as such, I won't say independence right now because that's what the platform. And if uh, put our strengths together and maybe uh, invent a series which can take uh, 
the stories to more and more people. I agree. I'm, I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure Gunita would be very happy to discuss that with you. Okay, so Mr. Mehra, it was such an insightful and such an interesting discussion. Thank you so much for joining us and for so generously giving us your time because this has been our longest show till date. And I believe everybody who tuned in to watch would have been delighted at that how candidly you shared everything about your films and about some of your personal anecdotes as well. So thank you so much, Mr. Mehra. It was indeed an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me over and, uh, and like bearing with me, but yeah. <laughs> no. And I apologize again for the technical issues. Uh, sometimes these things can't be helped. Oh, we do have a comment from Fakra Hassan. Milka Singh's 1960 race with Pakistani athlete at the Lahore Stadium was beautifully captured. The radio announcer for the Lahore race calls it Gaddafi Stadium. It was renamed that in 74. I guess that's a little anecdote for you. Oh, okay, oh yeah, we do have questions. So how, how did how you did cast art... the... Sorry? Art Malik. Oh. Wow, I, I'm glad you are asking me that. Uh, uh, I first, I, uh, I I think the first time I saw art in a movie was in True Lies. Uh, um, you know the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger film, and more than Arnold Schwarzenegger, I was impressed by this character, and I I followed him. Then he was in Passage to India and David Lee's, which was uh, again one of my favorite films. And uh, I, then uh, uh, I, I just approached Art and, and called him. And uh, I happened to go to London at that point in time. And we met and we shared a meal and the lovely meeting with him. And he, he's doing theater, Shakespearean theater in West End and all that. And he agreed to play the part. Um, and uh, Art is uh, originally from Pakistan. Now he has a British passport and he's the second generation out there. But his father also, after partition and all, uh, they choose to go to uh, the UK. And uh, so he, here was Pakistani uh, Art Malik who barely knew Hindi, forget Punjabi. And he played Milka, a Sikh, Milka Singh's father. So it, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then we went on to work on Mirzia again. Yeah. I, he, I love he stand out. He stands out in that role. He understands. He understands. And he brought in uh, uh, what what I call as uh, I, I I never call, I've never casted a star in my film. I've always casted the person. So uh, Amir has a huge uh, belief for India and the country and he, his heart goes out and is pain when he sees people in pain so it was very and there is a revolutionary hidden revolutionary sleeping inside him so it, it was great to cast him for Rang yes uh, Madhuan is very idealistic mm -hmm. in in his views and he was had a brief stint in Air Force so I casted the person. Yeah, like uh, uh, casted the person again. So it is important uh, to for me to cast the person and uh, first write the character and then find the right person. Uh, and not uh, uh, let the tail wag the dog. You know, uh, normally first question I'm asked is. Uh, what my, film mein hai? I understand the uh, uh, question. Rather than saying, ab si film, kis pe film bana rahe? So lately, people have started asking me, so what's your next subject? Not who is acting in your next film. Which uh, 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 I asked uh, uh, my mentor, uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy. Uh, and, uh, Murthy sir, uh, as we all know, uh, brought uh, India to the world map uh, during the dot-com revolution from Bangalore. Uh, in fact, he bangalore a lot of nations. And, uh, so I, uh, 
we 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 are uh, uh, we work for the same NGO. I in 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 the you know we, uh, kind of advise it, and uh, I ask Murti sir, Murti sir, what's the mantra? And he's a very quiet person and doesn't speak too much. So he said, you know, uh, when I go to a blockbuster video store and uh, I should ask for a Rakesh Om Prakash film. That's uh, amazing. And he said that in one. He said, whatever you do, it should have your signature and not the other way around. So he, and the other thing he told me, always surround yourself with young people, you will stay young. So there's a very interesting comment by Mania Kalra about how your movie made her understand partition from the perspective of women and what they faced. And I believe you and I had also touched on that. Perhaps you'd like to talk about Divya Dutta, that particularly moving scene in the film. Yeah, um, you know, uh, the ones who suffered the most were the women and the children uh, during partition. And I wanted to showcase that, that it's not always the, the women suffer uh, like it has is widely believed. They, they suffer at the hands of their own. So, uh, there was a scene of marital rape, uh, and uh, and uh, which uh, Divya played played it out beautifully, and only she could do it. And uh, that's why I am her biggest fan, and and she really inspires me to write deeper characters, and um, I always want to work with her. And uh, and. and she, she played that so beautifully and so sensitively. Uh, it, it, it leaves an indelible mark. And I'm glad you pointed that out. Uh, we were shooting a scene, uh, another scene, where Milka Singh, played by Farhan, comes home with her earrings. He had pawned her earrings to get him bail from a jewelry. So when he made some money, he actually bought the earrings. And Divya uh, is uh, cleaning some utensils. So what normally we would do is the the rock put here, Now the art department had actually put a hot rock there with coals. Oh. Oh. So to get the look correct. And the scene started. I said action, and she uh, started doing that. And Farhan entered, and then I said cut. After that, I saw her hands all burned because she didn't complain. Wow. Otherwise, the moment you put, but she let the scene go on. And I said, what have you done? Why did you do it? Uh, she said, no, it was the scene was working out so beautifully. I didn't want to stop the flow. So that's the kind of commitment she gives to her work. Yeah. You can definitely tell. She is yeah. definitely a class. She's amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. Okay, I think are we done with the questions? I think so. So, all right, then perhaps we should wrap up tonight's show and we would love to be in touch with you for any future collaborations. And of thank course, you so please much. do speak to Gunita. Uh, thank so, so thank you very much. Mr. Mehra, and thank you to the to the audience for tuning in today for our special show. And I hope you will join us again next Sunday at the same time on our Facebook page. And it is also being live streamed on YouTube and Twitter, I believe. So you can choose your platform. Thank you so very much and see you again. Bye. And please don't forget to make your donations to yes. the partition. Thank you. Thank you so much for reminding everybody. We need to take some action and, and some commitment to for good things. <laughs> yes. So please go and make as much of a donation as you would like to right now to the website of the 1947 Partition Archive. Yeah, it, Thank it you. Start at one dollar. Exactly. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Thank you for having me.